Okay, so uh, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Marianne. I work at the Budapest Metropolitan University, uh, handling the international admissions in the region uh, and also being responsible for the recruitment there. Uh, you might not see me just yet because I'm sharing my screen, but later on you might be able to do that. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to talk about our university. Budapest Metropolitan University in Hungary. Uh, I'm going to share some information about us, who are we, why you might consider to join our university. But first, uh, I would like to share our introductory video, which might give you a little bit of idea what you can expect from Budapest and Metropolitan University. So let's see the video itself. So uh, this has been our introductory video and now I would like to switch to our presentation. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, our university, uh, what is important to know about us, uh, what you can expect when you join Budapest Metropolitan University and study in Hungary. Before I would share the most important details, I would like to talk about a very important and relevant topic, uh, which I am sure uh, has been a crucial point in deciding whether to study abroad, uh, what would be the best choice. It has affected all of our lives. Uh, it has been important to everyone and uh, this is the coronavirus, obviously. Uh, Hungary has been one of the luckier countries uh, and the safer ones. We haven't been as affected by the virus as other European countries. We were quite lucky in a sense that uh, only a lower number of people have been affected by the pandemic. And in the past couple of days, even the lockdown and the restrictions have been lifted, people are able to go to work again, uh, continue their studies, and the borders are being open to. Based on these, we are quite excited and quite positive that we will be able to welcome you in person at our university. But of course, we are also prepared for other scenarios. Uh, if by any chance there would be travel restrictions, maybe delays with the visa, we are ready for that. If necessary, you are able to start your studies online and join the classroom format um, after you are able to 
to travel to Hungary. And if it is necessary, you are able to finish your first semester online and then continue hopefully in person uh, at the second semester. So we are trying to be as flexible as possible when it comes to your studies. And we are trying to manage this uh, absolutely new situation for all of us. And when it comes to the big question, why Hungary? Uh, I know very well that when students are considering their future studies, there are certain countries which uh, come up at first. The United States, Canada, UK, these are the typical destinations uh, which are considered when studying abroad. And I would like to argue a little bit for Hungary. Uh, well, the one and first obvious reason is the great location of the country. Hungary is located in the center of Europe, in the heart of Europe. This not only allows you easy travel uh, between the European countries, since we are part of the European Union and the Schengen Zone, but it is also makes it possible to have an affordable lifestyle and affordable studies while still enjoying uh, the Western lifestyle and also the Western culture. Well, actually, Hungary is kind of a mixture of the two, of the Western and Eastern cultures, and it makes a unique destination for everyone who would like to experience this uh, special mixture. When I'm talking about affordable studies, uh, I'm also talking about affordable living costs. We usually say that living in Hungary it means 500 euros per month, which includes accommodation, uh, food, transportation, everything together. Of course, uh, this can be a little bit more, these living costs, depending on your own personal lifestyle, but this is the amount that you are able to plan with. And you are also able to support yourself financially during your studies. According to the Hungarian regulations, you are able to work 20 hours per week. So if you wish, you are able to find an internship or, or a part-time job to support yourself or to just gain some experience uh, before finishing university. Uh, when it comes to working in Hungary, usually the question of the language barrier comes up. People and students are nervous that they are coming to Hungary, they don't speak Hungarian. How will they manage their life? How will they find the job? Well, I can tell you that uh, Budapest has a lot of international students, not only at Metropolitan University, but generally uh, there are also a lot of tourists. And when it comes to Hungarian people, we study English from primary school, so it's basically uh, a second language which is spoken around um, Hungary. And this means that when you walk down the street, you are able to ask for directions. And when it comes to work specifically, uh, there are a lot of international companies with a multicultural uh, working environment. So finding a job in Hungary, it's not as scary and not as difficult as you might imagine it uh, personally. After finishing the university, you are able to stay in Hungary. We have a so-called special nine-month stay-back option. This means that you have this time period to find a job in Hungary, and after that, you are able to stay here. Uh, you can start your own business, if that would be an option for you, or find a suitable job based on your degree. Of course, if you consider uh, finding a job at another European country to gain even more experience, you are able to do that since our degree is accepted all over Europe. So this is absolutely an option for you. These are just a couple of pictures of uh, what you can expect from Hungary, how the Hungarian countryside looks like, and what are the typical things that Hungary is associated with or famous for. 
And when it comes to Budapest, uh, I think it's quite obvious how we became number one uh, when it comes to touristic destinations and uh, the most loved European cities. Budapest is full of opportunities and uh, full of options when it comes to entertainment, studies, culture. Uh, we have beautiful architecture, a lot of spas, uh, cultural festivals, museums, cafes. There's always something happening in Budapest and it is an amazing place for international students. And when it comes to Budapest Metropolitan Unit, University itself, well, who are we? Uh, we are the biggest private university of Hungary with 6,500 students. And from that, we have 1,200 international students from 100 countries all over the world. So you can expect different nationalities. This illustration shows which are the biggest nationalities at our international community. As you can see, we already have a small Egyptian community. So when you arrive, you don't have to worry about being on your own or not being able to ask for help. Maybe someone who already went through these experiences and this is also an information that you can share with parents who are usually very nervous about letting their child go all alone to a different country. So we have quite an international student body, but this is not the only important thing about us. As I mentioned, we are the biggest private university with the largest art institute in Hungary. We offer 24 full-time degree programs, uh, not only in the field of art, but business, tourism, and communication. We have more than 200 international partners. Uh, you are able to learn different languages here, and we are very much supported by different funds, which allow us to explore different options, to give different opportunities to our students. So what are these opportunities? What are these options, what I mentioned before? One of them is quite a new partnership between us and Northumbria University in Newcastle. Uh, this new partnership allows those students who study business programs to apply for the Northumbria Topa program after the fourth semester. This means that after you studied here at Metropolitan for two years, you are able to apply for the TOPA program, which is one year long, with quite an amazing discount of 25% uh, from the North Umbria tuition fee. During this time, you would be studying at the London campus and you are able to get a UK degree at the end of your studies. So this opportunity means that you are not only experiencing the Hungarian culture, uh, the Hungarian educational system, but in the end, you are able to travel to the UK, study there and finish with a UK degree. Uh, the other important possibility for students who study business programs is the CIMA business certificate, uh, which is especially for those who study finance and accounting, they can become special experts in the field and so get even more experience before finishing university. Of course, there are other options to travel to different countries and the most important from them is the Erasmus Student Mobility. Uh, you might have heard about it, so I'm trying to be short. The Erasmus Partnership means that uh, you are able to choose another European university who is a partner of ours and you are able to spend one or two semesters there. While you are there, you are able to learn the language, uh, you are able to experience experience a completely different culture and of course the credits that you have gathered at the university are accepted when you return to Metropolitan University. Uh, I believe that uh, this is quite an important opportunity and it has a lot of benefits when it comes to learning a language, when it comes to networking, when it comes to experiencing a different culture and just meeting different people uh, from all over the world. Everyone who has ever participated in the Erasmus Partnership has been quite positive about it. So I always encourage students to join and make use of this opportunity. 
why you might still consider metropolitan we have a unique teaching system which is called my brand uh, it is generally true when it comes to matthew that we are supporting uh, a practice oriented uh, uh, study system this means that we are trying to give you as much practice as possible, uh, as much experience as possible, since this is the most important thing apart from theories. Uh, when you finish your studies and you are trying to find a suitable job. Uh, the MyBand training means that at the end of your studies, you will have a portfolio. This portfolio will contain your relevant experiences, uh, the skills that you have gained during your studies, everything which will help you to find the most suitable job and not only the suitable job, but also being able to win that place. Uh, since we know very well that um, there is a typical saying that when you enter the work field, uh, you should have at least five years experience, even when you just left university. So we decided that we will try to find a solution for this problem. And this is how my brand was born. We are trying to give you uh, the most cutting edge knowledge, which will help you to get the experience, have the necessary skills, and be able to convince your new employer that you are the right candidate for that. When it comes to our study programs specifically, as I mentioned earlier, we have business related programs, tourism, communication, international relations, and art. I'm going to show you quickly the prices uh, of these programs and the list so you can see which programs you can choose from. These are the programs from the art and design field on the bachelor level. When it comes to these programs, it's important to keep in mind that these only start in September. So if you would be interested in joining one of these programs, then you should always apply for the September intake because that's when they are available. On the bachelor level, these are the business related program. As you can see, we have business administration and management, finance and accounting. So all the important programs when it comes to business. Here are the communication, tourism and social science fields. And when it comes to the master programs, these are the ones that you can choose from. We are offering art related and business related programs on the master level too. And all of our programs are taught in English. So you don't need to worry about uh, learning Hungarian, although that is an option for you if you are looking for a challenge. Uh, I know that the question of scholarships is always important, so I would like to talk a little bit about the scholarships that we are offering. After the first year, you are not only able to pay by semester and uh, pay by installments, but you can be also eligible for the academic uh, scholarship, the study grant, and also you are able to choose from different options. However, when you are applying to our university, you can make use of the Matthew Excellence Scholarship. What does it mean? During the application procedure, we are considering our applicants if they are eligible for this scholarship. This all happens automatically, so you don't need to apply additionally to the scholarships. Uh, when you are applying to Metropolitan, you are considered for the excellent scholarship automatically. As it is in its name, uh, this scholarship is given for those students who achieve highly academically, who have very good uh, language skills. I'm talking about C1 level, which is in IELTS 6.0 or above. And also uh, we are looking for students who perform really well during the Skype interview. I will talk about the Skype interview a little bit later on. Uh, the Excellence Scholarship gives you a 500 euro discount from your tuition fee. Uh, so when you are applying to Metropolitan, since you would be required to make the payment for the first two semester tuition fee, this means a thousand euro discount uh, from this payment. You are also able to keep this scholarship later on. Uh, what I'm talking 
talking about is that if your GPA is good enough, uh, if you are participating in Matthew's life, uh, if you are joining us as an intern, you are able to keep this discount for yourself. So you can not only win it one time, but make use of it throughout your studies. Uh, we are offering dormitories for our students. We have three main contracted dormitories, which you can choose from. The prices range between 210 and 350 euros per month. Of course, this depends on what type of room you choose. The dormitories are not located on campus, but they are either very close to the university, just a couple of minutes walk, or easily accessible by public transport. Of course, it's not obligatory to stay in the dormitories. If you wish, you are able to rent an apartment in Budapest, although that is a little bit more expensive. I would like to also talk a little bit about the application procedure. So when it comes to the required documents, uh, you need the scanned version of your passport, the transcripts that you have for yourself, when it comes to bachelor programs, obviously these are your high school transcripts and if possible, the high school uh, certificate. And when it comes to master level programs, the bachelor degree and the bachelor's uh, transcript. So uh, I know very well that there are a lot of students who are finishing their studies just this summer and they have been affected by the coronavirus. So when it comes to these requirements, of course, if you don't have your certificate yet, if you cannot show your latest transcripts, that's absolutely all right. That's what we mean by transcripts that you have now, that we are able to start the procedure with you, even if you don't have all of your documents. We are trying to be as flexible with this as we can. So generally, the application procedure happens online. We have an application portal, apply.metropolitan.hu, uh, where you need to register and upload these documents. If we find everything to be okay, we will invite you for a Skype interview. During the Skype interview, uh, we ask you questions about your motivation, your future plans, but I will talk a little bit about this on the next slide. As you can see, IELTS or other language certificates are not required because we use the Skype interview to check your English levels. So you are able to start your application without any language certificate since the Skype interview will be enough proof to show your language skills. Uh, there are also special requirements for those who are applying for art programs. They need to provide a portfolio, uh, which we forward to the art department. I know that the portfolio can be a scary word, but basically it means that you would need to show a couple of pieces of your work earlier. For example, if you apply for an art program, let's say animation, it's great if you can show some sketches, some short videos, animation that you have done before, or maybe a screenplay. Uh, if you apply for graphic design, it's great if you have done illustrations before, posters, something like that. Of course, we not expect you to be a professional already, why would you apply if you would be that? Uh, but we just want to know you and get to know you a little bit better, to see your artistic skills, to see your creativity. And when it comes to the Skype interview itself, as I mentioned, you can expect questions about yourself, your family, hobbies, uh, your life in the country. And we also ask questions about your personal motivation. Why did you choose Budapest Metropolitan? What do you know about our university? Uh, what do you know about Hungary in general? Why did you consider this country and not others? And of course, when it comes to your specific chosen program, we also ask related questions to that. For example, if you uh, apply for business administration and management, we might be asking questions 
what you can see there, or we would be asking you, how would you start your own business? What are the first steps? What should you consider if you want to be a good leader and so on? So once again, we not expect you to be a professional. We just try to get to know you better, learn more about you and see that you are the right candidate for us and we are the right university for you. Uh, those students who would be applying for the business related programs, they might need to participate in a math test based on their grades and academic achievements. Uh, well, this is something that you have to go through. Uh, the mathematics test is on a high school level, so you don't need to worry about it. The test contains questions that you probably already studied earlier, so you don't need to worry about uh, what kind of questions there are. There are fractions, equations, and so on. This is an online test, 30 minutes long, with eight questions, part for those who would like to join a business program. And let's talk about money. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, very shortly, part of the application procedure, you would be required to make the payment for the first two semester tuition fee. So uh, the procedure goes, you upload your documents, you participate in the Skype interview, and if you are accepted, then you receive a so-called conditional acceptance letter, which has all the necessary information about the next steps, what kind of payments you need to make, and what are the deadlines. Apart from the tuition fee, there are other fees that you should consider. There is the application fee, the dormitory deposit, which is basically uh, safekeeping money. And if you move out of the dormitory, you are able to get back this amount. This is only for special emergencies, which which are very rare. The visa assistance fee is not obligatory, it's only an option for you. The visa assistance means that before your visa application, you are able to send your documents for a pre-check. We have a legal advisor who can check these documents and give advice to you whether you might want to uh, change some documents or add documents, but it's completely up to you whether you would like to make use of this service or not. There is also the healthcare insurance, which is 150 euros only paid by per semester. So after making the payment, you would only need to renew it after uh, the first semester and at the beginning of the second one. So these are the most important fees that you should consider uh, while you are making your application. And you can see the prices for the programs too. So while you are considering your application, these are the general amounts that you should take into account. Uh, we also try to help our students, not only with the scholarships, but as you can see, you can get a 10% discount from your first semester tuition fee if you apply after this uh, webinar, but we also have another discount, which is called the early bird discount. Uh, the early bird discount gives you a 10% discount from the first two semesters if you are able to meet the early bird deadlines. When it comes to the September intake, this is the 30th of May, or in this special case, uh, it has been the 15th of June. And when it comes to the February intake, uh, it is usually the 15th of October. So if you are able to make the necessary payments till the early bird deadline, you can get a 10% discount from the first two semester tuition fee. As I have mentioned, the visa assistance service is mostly about checking the documents before the visa, but we can also help you with uh, fixing your appointments. And if necessary, we are able to provide you a mock visa interview, uh, which means that if in the first round, we are not so sure about your knowledge about Hungary, um, about Budapest, then we might invite you for the smoke visa interview to help you prepare for your actual visa application and help you to be successful with it. And I would like to finish with some questions which have been asked in the past couple of weeks and months. Uh, I will list these very, very quickly. There is something that uh, 
I already mentioned in the beginning, but still, these are the most important questions I think that we still have to talk about. So the first one is about the classroom teaching. If everything goes well, we will start it. Uh, we are quite positive. We do want to welcome you in person, and this is how we are preparing. If your visa is not granted on time, you are still able to join your classes online. And um, when you arrive to Hungary, you can switch to the classroom format. If the borders are still closed, once again, you are able to start online or even finish your semester online. This is absolutely an option and supported by us. The online classes would be the same quality as the ones in the classroom. So you don't have to worry about not studying the same as your peers. It would be completely the same. Uh, if your visa application is rejected during this time when you study online, you are able to reapply for your visa. We would be helping with your appeal. Or if you wouldn't be able to get a visa granted, you are still able to take these credits with you and try to apply for another university. So this time that you've spent online uh, learning at Metropolitan, it wouldn't be completely lost. When you finish your first semester online, you are still able to join the classroom format for the second semester. It is completely accepted. As I mentioned, it is the same level of studies with the same quality. And when it comes to deciding whether you should join online or maybe wait it out, this is a very difficult question, I think. And what I can tell you is that you might want to wait it out, what happens in the next couple of months, what happens uh, in the fall or in next year. But I believe when it comes to your studies, uh, if you have this opportunity, you should start it as soon as you can and not waste time. If you study online, you will receive the same type of classes on the same level uh, as your peers. So you would have the advantage of not missing uh, semesters from your studies, but finishing on time and being uh, ready for whatever comes next. So these have been the most important questions and this has been my little presentation about uh, Hungary and as I can see Ziad has also joined us in the meantime and Ziad is a student of ours he just finished his uh, bachelor uh, in commerce and marketing and he is to join us on a master level studying marketing continuing with this field uh, I would like to ask Ziad to share his experiences about uh, studying in Hungary and and how it has been during the pandemic uh what was life and studying in hungary i hope Ziad, you can hear me if you could join us it would be great hello yes i can hear you hi Ziad. hello so, uh, as I mentioned, it would be great if you could share some information about, well, not just about what happened during the pandemic and stuff like that, but I'm sure that people would be happy to hear a little bit about how was your first time in Hungary, uh, what were the biggest, I don't know, cultural shock, if there was any, um, any experience that you find important. Of course, if you would rather talk in Arabic, that's absolutely fine. Maybe people would even appreciate it. So I give you the floor to, to share your experiences. Yeah, I can talk in English or in Arabic. It doesn't matter for me. Okay, so. whatever you prefer then. Okay, I will talk in Arabic. Okay. So, uh, أول حاجة أنا اخترت الجامعة لأن كانوا أصحابي هنا uh, كانوا هنجم هنا الأول وكانوا قالوا لي تعال أو كده فلما جيت أنا كنت عايز أسافر من زمان. وكنت بدور على جامعات في اوروبا عامه يعني او في في اي حته وبعدين لما جيت قدمت في المجر وكانت الدنيا سهله ما كانتش صعبه قوي بالنسبه للتقديم والكلام ده وبعدين اتقبلت وجيت و يعني ممكن تسالوني اسئله عشان انا مش عارف اقول ايه
حد سامعني؟ ايه الحاجات اللي ممكن تبقوا عايزين تعرفوها اكتر عن البجر عن الجامعه؟ هاي زياد انا سامعاك ممكن تكلمنا على الاكسبيرينس ان جنرال يعني الوقت اللي انت قضيته المحاضرات الانترناشونال ستودنتس الدكتورز اللي كانوا معاك تمام هو بالنسبه لل الانترناشونال ستودنتس هم كتير من كل حته واغلبيتهم في كتير من عرب وفي كتير مصريين وكل والجامعه كانت يعني يعني قبل اللوك داون كانت الجامعه بتنظم لنا الوقت بحيث رحلات وحاجات كتيره والمحاضرات معظمها ما كانتش صعبه وكان ال ال مش عارف اقول ايه تاني اوكي انا الصوت بيقطع خرجت خلاص اتخرجت اه انا دلوقتي في اخر ترم ليا اوكي بيرفكت ف ان جنري يعني الاكسبيرينس انا مش سامع ساعتك كانت في الجامعه انت حبيتها يعني بتنصح بيها بقيه الطلبه سوري انا مش سامع كويس الصوت بيقطع الو Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can perfectly hear you, so I think you should be fine. Uh, I can't hear yes, you. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thanks for sharing your experience, the end. Thank you. Uh, so if you ask Eli, and then uh, can I go about it? No, thank you. We don't have. <laughs> Thanks, Marianne, for your time today. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, if there would be any questions for me, I'm happy to answer those later on. Uh, any questions about Hungary or the university itself. So once again, thank you very much for having me. It was, well, great to kind of sort of meet you. And I'm looking forward to welcoming you Egyptian students at our university.